Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and I'm here to talk to you about all-in-one coolers, and specifically the care and maintenance of them, and what to do if you find, for some reason, that you've got bent radiator fins. So the fins on the radiator, where the air passes through from the fans, can sometimes get bent, and it's actually really easy for this to happen. I've even had all-in-one coolers which come out of the box looking like this, so they got actually damaged in shipping despite being heavily packaged. So it's really easy for this to happen with bent fins looking pretty horrific and scary. Now you might be panicking that this is going to cause problems, but the good news is actually it won't for the most part. The fins are where the heat dissipates from the liquid running inside the cooler, but there's no liquid actually running through those fins specifically. So the zigzagging fins that you can see running throughout the entirety of the radiator aren't actually carrying liquid through them as I'll show later on, but instead are just there to help support the dissipation of heat as the air passes through the radiator. To demonstrate this, I went my way soaring through a Corsair 360mm radiator just so I could show the internal parts of this and how the fins aren't carrying the liquid through. I'll show some more clips of this later on. But for now, I want to show you some tips on what to do if you do want to unbend some of the fins, because obviously it's worth making sure the air can still flow through there. And if the bends are so bad it's a problem and preventing airflow, then it can be an issue. Now here I'm using an iFixit kit, which is a kit of screwdrivers and other tools, but you'll see that I'm using this little plastic guitar pick-like device here. So you could use a guitar pick as an alternative, and you'll see just how easy it is to bend the fins, because I'm basically just using a bit of plastic and a very light touch here to try and unbend some of the worst bends in the fins throughout this radiator. That's the important point because you could use another tool like this flat metal one and that will go between the various fins and you can use it to bend it. But if you're not too careful you might actually make it worse because they're so thin and delicate it's really easy to bend them either in or out and you can see just how much you can manipulate them. But another point is that this sort of thing will pass all the way through the radiator. Now I'm not suggesting that you should do this because you can see that I actually properly broke one of the fins here. But what you will notice is it's not now pouring coolant out of either side when you remove that. So you're not going to get some leaks if some of the fins are really badly bent. As long as the middle struts aren't really damaged and are, like the other significant parts of the cooler, it will be fine. Now I want to talk about maintenance as well, because if you've taken your case apart or are swapping cases maybe, or just changing things out, if you take the fans off the radiator, you'll probably find there's a lot of dirt and dust on there. And this buildup is pretty easy to happen over a short period of time. You may well see dirt rings. So you can see some rings on this NZXT one where the fans have got dirt on them, despite having dust trays and things in place to prevent that it still happens. Now you can clean these up as well and I would recommend doing that because anything that prevents proper airflow through the radiator will harm cooling. So I have this little dust blower, you can use compressed air as another alternative and just blow through and get some of that dust off. Get the worst, worst of it off and that will really help. Now the other thing you can do is this is a closed loop system and as long as you keep the electric parts, so the pump head and the other bits, away from anything you can then run it under water. So you can run water through the radiator and basically just rinse it out. This is a closed system, so there's no electronics in this part of the radiator. As long as you keep the other end dry or it actually attaches to your motherboard, it should be fine. So you can rinse out all the dust and dirt from there, give it a good clean, and then obviously you just leave it to dry. Now it goes without saying, make sure you disconnect it from your PC first and you make sure it's fully dried out before you try and put it back in but this which will help remove any dust and dirt in there. And hopefully the combination of these things should help with better cooling. Earlier on, I hinted about how I cut a radiator apart because I wanted to demonstrate the inside of it. So I want to give you a look at what it looks like on the inside. Now you'll see that those metal struts in the middle actually are essentially the pipe work where the coolant flows through the entirety of the thing in that loop. But what you'll also notice is the fins there aren't connected to those in a way that the liquid's going to travel through that part. You could do this yourself, obviously, by cutting a radiator open, but you don't want to waste your money on such things. So I did it and put some liquid back through to show how it was traveling through there. Now, obviously, there's a lot of mess going on here, so it's hard to see. But essentially, what's happening is it's not spilling out of the fins anymore. There is a lot of damage where I've sold my way through, 
but you don't need to worry about when you're unbending the pins doing enough damage for it suddenly to start pouring liquid into your system unless you aggressively manage to damage the pipes running through the center. Hopefully this has been some interesting insights into sorting out your radiator. Drop me a subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.